Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Lou Ann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director, and I'm here with Timothy Atik, known to us as T.A., who is the Executive Director of Breakaway Ministries. Welcome, T.A. Thanks, so glad, glad to, to have you back. Great yeah, to be back. It's great to have you back. Um, and you talked about a subject today that I think all of us struggle with, and that's comparison. Yep. Um, I know that um, my, my women that I disciple and my discipleship groups I'm in, we talk about this so much, yep. um, just like this pattern that you can get into of like looking at everyone else's life yep. as you scroll by <laughs> and start thinking, uh, what is wrong with mine? Uh, and it is it's something that we are faced with all the time. And I love how you brought it back today. We talked about how David and Saul and just that mm -hmm. whole relationship piece. This is not a new struggle for yep. us, even though social media makes it yep. maybe a little bit more prevalent. That's right. This is human nature in our flesh. Um, and so the question that came in today um, is asking about how do we fight this comparison thing daily? How do we, on a day-to-day -day basis, what does that look like to fight that? Yeah, well, I think, uh, I think it goes back to what I talked about in the talk in terms of identifying the who, what, and when. It's like if you're going into battle, you know, you're, whoever your commanding officer is, is going to talk about those things. Who's the enemy? What, what are we aiming to? Where does the battle come into place mm -hmm. and how are we going to attack it? And so I think strategy in terms of dealing with comparison, it starts with identifying who you're prone to comparing yourself to, mm -hmm. to even look in your life right now and just say, I know I feel it on a regular basis that I'm drawn towards comparing myself to this specific person. Mm -hmm. And then what? What do you tend to compare? It's, it's really identifying what is what you value, mm -hmm. what you think needs to be highest priority in your life, whether it's your looks or your you know, job title or whatever it is, it's identifying those things um, can really help you be aware of when you're actually stepping into mm -hmm. battle to say, well, I know I'm going to be around this person today. And so I need to start reminding myself of the truth before I get with that person and the evil one who's the father of all lies begins to whisper into mm -hmm. my life. You have to remember that, um, the evil one is a liar. That's his main mode of operation. So, you know, if you don't spend time, you know, hearing from the Lord each day, then your mind by default is going to be exposed to more lies than truth. That's right. You have to spend time in the Word of God to know the truth about you. God's Word determines your reality. Okay? So, spending time every day reminding yourself of what Christ has done to determine your worth allows you to step into those situations that you've already prepared for because you know, I tend to compare when I'm with this person and here's the things that I'm comparing and saying, you know what? You know what? I would like to weigh less or I'd like to, to be more successful and whatnot, but in the end, the, those are good things for me to make goals, to mm -hmm. take steps towards, but my goal isn't to become this person. Mm -hmm. And and these things do not have any impact on my value. My value has already been semen. Mm. And it can't change for the better or for the worse. My value is already maxed out. Mm. So it's to live in that. And that might sound real theoretical, but that's I'm trying to be as practical mm -hmm. as possible. It is identifying where you're walking into battle. And then the way you arm yourself for battle is by reminding yourself of what God has already said about you. And so you you almost need to prepare yourself with, with words of truth that Absolutely. will counteract the lies mm -hmm. so that when you're in those situations and you hear that voice of saying, man, you're not nearly as high capacity, you're not as nearly as successful or not as nearly, you're not nearly as pretty as that person to say, God has determined my worth, period. Mm -hmm. He's determined my worth. Mm -hmm. What God celebrates is faithfulness. Mm -hmm. He doesn't celebrate physical beauty or high, being high capacity or being, you know, 
wealthy financially or immaterial. He celebrates faithfulness. I'm going to be faithful to steward the life he's given me, the body he's given me, the mind he's given me. And that is what you're called to do, Mm -hmm. to steward what God has given you, the weaknesses with what he's given you and the strengths, steward it well. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I think that's so important to remind us that what you said about what God values, our faithfulness and our obedience. And um, I, the whole arm yourself with truth and just saying, and I can think about how many times I've had to say to myself, like audience of one, this is what God believes about me. This is what God said is truth to like bring myself back away from when my mind starts wandering towards those places. And Um, I even encourage people to speak it out loud, mm -hmm. to say, this is the lie I'm Mm -hmm. hearing right now, to call it out as a lie, to say, the lie I'm hearing is that I would be enough if I was more like this person. Mm -hmm. That is a lie because if God wanted me to be like them, He would have made Made me me like them. He's made me this way. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Calling it out is there's power in that and sharing it with another person. Just to say, hey, here's the For thought that I had. Yeah. And to just expose that, mm-hmm. that, that power gets released the more that you expose the lies. Because the reality is you might not be able to speak the tr- words mm-hmm. of truth to you because your mind is mm-hmm. so distorted. So you might need friends who can open up the word and say, this is what's true. That's so good. Okay, so you're back with us next week. Yep. We're really excited about that. Any preview on... Uh, What's coming? Yeah, absolutely. We'll be talking about conformity and it will drive you insane to think about all of the ways that you distort who you are as a person to be who someone else thinks Mm. you need to be in order for them to put their stamp of approval and say, you're enough for me. We change who we are. We Mm. change our personalities around different people. We change our senses of humor. We change the way that we talk, the way that we act. We change what we like or don't like in the moment because we want Mm -hmm. other people's approval so badly. That's conformity. And so we try and become who someone else needs us to be in order for them to say, you're enough. So we're going to deal with that. And the hope is freedom to just walk and say like, no, this is how God God has made me. So awesome. Well, we're glad to have you back with us next week. Yeah, looking forward to it. Thanks for being here and thanks for joining us here for Postscript. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org slash postscript.